Hey guys, so Christina has been gone for four days and I thought since she's coming home today that I would make her favorite meal. Kind of to make up for a prank I pulled on her while she was gone, but that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to make uh, gluten-free lasagna. Now I love Bertoli's gluten-free noodles. These ones are ready to go in the oven so you don't have to boil them. And we also don't like ricotta. So scan across this stuff. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need your pasta sauce. You're going to need, um, for us, we like it light, super meaty. So I got some ham. I've got some pepperoni. And then instead of ricotta, we like this five cheese Italian blend. And honey, stop, mozzarella. And then I try to sneak in vegetables. So this is your regular ground beef. And I've added mixed vegetables into it. And the kids love this. Now you can also put beans in it. So if you don't want to use meat, you can use like red beans. Mm -hmm. So this is what your pasta squares look like. You're just going to go ahead and come over here so you can watch. And lay these down. I don't make them super tight. But you can. And you just want to layer all of your ingredients right in there and I do about three layers so just you want to put about three layers on there and just layer everything the way you'd like it and I've already preheated my oven to 425 because it takes about an hour to an hour and a half at 425 so I got the mini pepperoni because it's fun. Ignore the twin who's being silly. I hate that. I hate that too. What is that? This is the ham, the Canadian bacon. Okay, guys, seriously? Canadian bacon and ham are the same thing. I don't know why they call it Canadian bacon or ham, and I might need a knife. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> you need to get Okay, guys, I actually added another one. So I put, there's six in the bottom. There'll be six on each layer of the sauce and the noodles. And So just get your Canadian bacon out and put that in there. So, forgive the crying, crying child in the back. Just to make it more even. Okay, now, you want to put your sauce on and then your cheese because your cheese just melts in and mixes with the sauce and makes it great. So, and it takes about two cans of sauce for this. That's a lot of sauce. It is, but it all melts in and then that, it, that's what helps your noodles become just right. Putting so. on the cheese. You put your cheese. Like I said, this one is five. This is a Italian cheese blend. So. Sorry, the lighting isn't very good. All right, guys, so we're gonna pause. I'm gonna go ahead and layer this and get it all layered out for you and then I'll show you what it looks like right before you pop it in the oven. Okay, so we're down to the last layer and I'm just gonna put, I only have four left, so I'm just gonna evenly put them on top. This is a lot of cheese. I've already got two pounds of cheese in this. Take the last of your sauce. See, there's nothing that goes on top of this except sauce and cheese. So I'm really sorry there's a child crying in the background. So put that there. Smooth this out. There's a lot of sauce in it. So now you're just going to take your mozzarella. That's the last one I did. And I just put a little layer on top. And then we'll pop this bad boy in the oven. Doesn't take that much mozzarella cheese. 
now. This is just to crisp that and to give that little extra push. So good. I ha you guys got to see this. You should show them. I'm getting a foot massage while I'm cooking. Wendy likes licking all the salt off you. Okay guys, so this will cook down and settle more into the pan. And some people put tin foil over the top. I do not because I'm not using ricotta and I'm not using um, cottage cheese. My family doesn't like the texture. What is ricotta? Ricotta is like cottage cheese kind of, it's, it's a very Italian cheese, but. So I've already got my oven preheated to 440, but only because our oven is not temperatured right. So eventually we'll get that fixed. Back up, this is hot. Okay, that takes about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, just whenever your noodles are soft, it's ready. You wanna make sure that when you take it out, you let it sit. So we'll see you in about an hour. All right, guys, so we're about 29 seconds from one hour in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and turn everything off, including the timer. And one hour in the oven. Oh, Nelly. So I'm going to give this about 20 to 30 minutes to just cool down. Depending on when Christina gets home, we may give it a few more minutes. But how is it? Good. Good? So we had to wait a little bit longer for the girls to get home, but Mom, it's... Oh. Stop raining! Mom. I wanted to start. I want to taste it. I already did. It was good. <laughs> what do you think of the food? Oh, really good. I love it. I think like I'm so tired. Can I have my juice? 